Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can set up buttons and their different states within Unreal Engine. Now as part of the Photoshop document that you've got for the main menu that you're going to be creating over this series, we have got a couple of buttons. And with these buttons they're going to have different states depending on what you're doing. So what I mean by that, so normally they're going to look like this and they're going to have the white text. When you hover over it, it is going to have the yellow text and that is exactly what we're going to be recreating inside of Unreal Engine as part of our menu widget blueprint. So go ahead and open this up and we can start working on this. So what we're going to need to do, first of all, is to import the images for the buttons. And just like I showed you in one of the previous videos, it's really straightforward. So within your UI resources folder, grab the start button and the start button pressed, click, drag, and just drop it into your content browser, just like that. And now if we open up that menu widget again, what we're going to do inside of here is within the palette in the top left, we are going to use a button and then we're just going to simply drag and drop it into our scene here. Now with our button, what I'm going to do is make sure this is an anchored into the middle of the screen. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the logo as well, just so that they both stay in line as they're going to be anchored to the same point. And that's one thing that you've got to keep in mind when you're doing your UI. Now with this button you can shape it, you can make it bigger, you can make it longer and all of that good stuff. But what I want to do is set an image for this. And the image we're going to use for this is the one we've just imported. And to set this we've got to go in the details panel, go to style, and then notice we have got a couple of different states. So we've got normal, hovered and pressed. And all of these are going to be for different things. So the normal, as it says, is the, button appearance, uh, is the button appearance when the button is not hovered or pressed. So essentially when you're not doing anything with it. With the hovered, that is the button appearance when you are hovered over that. So if the mouse is over that button, it's going to show this image or this state rather. And then pressed is what it's going to look like just for a split second when you do press it. So let's start off with the normal state. So go to normal and then what we're going to do is find the start button image. So expand the normal bit and then just type in start. And if you can't find it straight away, just have a little search down. So what we could do is just check the exact name, which is simply start button. So go back into this and just type in start button to find that. And now you can see we've got our image in there for the normal. Now what we are going to do is set the exact size of this button so it's within proportion to what we exported outside of Photoshop. So we're going to get the image size here which is 385 by 91 and set it up at the top. So 385 by 91. And the reason why I'm doing this, like I said, is to just make sure that nothing is stretched and it is exactly how I've set it up in Photoshop. The next thing that you want to do is set your margin to zero from 0 0.25 and the margin for those of you that don't know is it's basically just like a little gap between sort of the box and the board, uh, sorry the image and the border. Um, always just try and keep that to zero if possible. So that is our normal state. We know how to set the image size and the look of it. Next up we've got our hovered and what we can do with this one is just type in start game or start button and use the pressed one. And you can see here now it's going to be a little bit more yellow. Notice it looks a little bit odd here at the moment and that's because these margin is at 0 0.25 and what you should have is a more filled out image that looks a little bit like this. And then lastly what we're going to do for the pressed one is we are going to use the start button again but this time we're going to use the normal image with zero margin but we're going to add a tint and the tint what that's going to do is just change it a slightly different color so if you press tint just choose a color on here you can see in the preview now the outer ring or the whole image 
is just having a little bit of a tint on there and I'm just putting a little bit of yellow on there. So, if I also go ahead and compile this, save, and press play to open it up in the game, you are going to see how our buttons look and just how well they have come out. So once again, I have set up the main menu level already to display that widget. So I'm going to open the level for the menu level, saving what I've just done, and press play. And you can see now when we hover over this button here, it is going completely yellow and it is quite clear that you are hovering over that button. When you click it or when you hold down that click, you can see it goes yellow and it is definitely quite evident that you are working with that button. Now there is still loads more that we do need to cover on buttons, such as functionality when you do work with it, um, and also setting up custom animations for the button and that kind of stuff. But for now what you guys should have is a basic understanding of how you can use buttons and the different states. Anyway guys, that is everything for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.